I'm not going to say he's small because plenty of women have. I haven't the heart to tell him they're not talking about his height. Give it up for Michael Jordan Dunn. Getting tangled up here. Well, welcome to BJ Below Me's. It's great to be here. I uh, actually just now fucking I had to grow this mustache because I'm on stage, motherfucker. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, I grew this mustache because I'm gonna be in a movie. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty interesting. I'm a stunt double. The movie is called The Hills Have Guys. <laughs> no, um, what was funny was I actually went to a costume party last night and I went as a cholo. Thought it was going to be funny. But then I realized I hang out with way too many lesbian feminists. So they just called me a racist all night. <coughs> I had the top button, everything. It was good. What, what else do I do? What, what kind of jokes do I have? Oh yeah, hide your kids with this mustache too. That's, yeah. Okay, so what, something that's really been pissing me off lately is what I like to call Christian physics. Have you heard about this? People who interweave science, physics, and God. Yeah! Like, okay, dude, we've come a long way since Einstein and J. Robert Oppenheimer stop poisoning science with this fucking asinine belief that there is a higher power and you, God plus E equals MC square equals eternal life in heaven. It's not going to fucking happen because, you know what? Jesus is going to come in your heart without a condom. That was so fucking terrible. I cannot believe I said that and that nobody laughed. Goodness gracious. Speaking of religious people, uh, Bishop Edward J. Slattery, Slatterly, something like that, of the Catholic Churches of his Diocese of Tulsa, said recently about the Boy Scout of America's decision to allow openly gay scouts in the organization. He said, when I think openly gay, I think that means they're sexually active. Well, by your logic, Bishop, that would mean that you're a child molester. <laughs> oh, goodness. I mean, do you really think 12-year-old Boy Scouts are joining just so they can buttfuck yeah. another scout? Like, get their buttfucking badge? <laughs> I don't think that's a badge. I was in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Shit. So I, I do hang out with a lot of lesbians, um, which just means I've started to smell more like anger armpits and androgyny. <laughs> Damn. They're the ones who keep calling me a racist. I was at a, I went to Tulsa Pride this year. Anybody else go? Woo! My buddy Austin kept calling it the gay bash. Yeah. No, it was a lot like uh, bobbing for Adam's apples there. It was funny though, because my friend was like, he didn't know that Tulsa Pride had gone on, and he was like, I told him I went, and he was like, oh man. I wish you would have told me I would have come out. I was like, I think you just did, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Magic Johnson truly lives up to his name, does he not? <laughs> Let that one set in for a little bit. Yeah. Just goes to show you, if you have a lot of money, doesn't matter. Stick it in wherever. So I, I guess uh, I should probably maybe hold these or something. Keep turning my back to y'all, mainly because you're not laughing. Uh, so, did you guys hear... What the fuck did you say? I will beat you. Um, John Carpenter, he uh, is remaking that movie, The Thing. Did you guys hear about this? Yeah, but he's doing a black exploitation version. It's called The Thing. <laughs> Nicholas Cage is so broke now, he's 
coming out with porn. There's going to be a national pleasure coming out soon. Nobody. Lance Armstrong uh, recently bought that pin company, Uniball. <laughs> Sales are spreading metastatically, apparently. <laughs> Shit. Is it just me, or does anybody else, when they're watching professional weightlifting, just hope somebody's asshole blows out faster than a fucking bunch of candles on a birthday cake? Right here! <laughs> that show Mad Men is fucking false advertising. I'm in advertising. I know what it's really like. I showed up for my first day, and I was like, okay, when do we start chain smoking, down in scotch, and sexually harassing women in the office? Apparently, there are a few laws I need to get up to date on. <laughs> My boss uh, started joking with me recently. He likes to joke about me being incompetent, which uh, really makes you think, you know, does he really believe that? Or is that shit true and this motherfucker's so incompetent that he hired me? <laughs> Goodness gracious. Tough crowd. I am busy now. Really busy. And uh, it doesn't provide me with a lot of free time. You know, work comedy, pretending I'm a musician, these things take time. So, you know, it seems like I don't even have time to masturbate anymore. It's really sad, isn't it? I don't even get to take time for myself. All right, that's a lie. I do make time to masturbate, but I do it when I brush my teeth now because I'm such a mover and a shaker. So you gotta start out slow, pat your head, rub your belly. You know, you practice from the bottom to the top, you know, like that Drake song. Start from the bottom, now we hear. Anyway, so the motion, once you practice it enough, it just starts looking like this. <laughs> Always brushing circular motions. Did someone just say mom? Yeah. Your mom has a dick and brushes her teeth and masturbates? That's yeah. awesome. Wow. But I get bored with that really easily. So now I just try and finish masturbating before I finish brushing my teeth. Mainly because if anybody walked in and found you masturbating to your own reflection while you were brushing your teeth with a bunch of white shit falling out of your mouth, they might get the wrong impression about you, especially on a first date. <laughs> like, I would go to a girl's house and be like, yeah, I'm totally ready for this date. Can I use your restroom real quick? And then you walk out, and they're like, what's that on your pants? You're like, uh, toothpaste. Oh. Yeah. I can never use that excuse now that I tell that joke, too. That's the worst part, is my pants are all crusted with semen. <laughs> oh, shit. Last resort, friends. Anybody have one of those? Yes! I have a lot of those. Like, the people that you actually just fucking hate being around. But you get so bored sometimes that you can't get anybody else to come out to your show. And so you just call them. And they show up, and it's some drunk bitch at the bar, and she's like, These comedians suck! God, when are they gonna be funny? It's like, shut up, you fat bitch! You're acting like you're gonna get laid later on. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, my name's Michael Jordan Dunn. I love you guys. Thank you. Schneider, for one day at a time, everybody. That concludes our comedy show. Thank you all everybody.